Dear students, today I will discuss about introduction of spectroscopy. Spectroscopy is a branch of science dealing with study of interaction of electromagnetic radiation with matter. When we split this term spectroscopy, we will get spectro means radiation and scopy means measurement. Here in spectroscopy, the radiation or light is allowed to pass through the molecule. These radiations will interact with the molecule and this interaction will provide very valuable information related to the structure and concentration of molecule. Before starting with spectroscopy, one should know what is electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation or electromagnetic wave is a form of energy that is transmitted through space at an enormous velocity. Light waves, microwaves, radio waves are the examples of electromagnetic radiation. This radiation has electric and magnetic component. Now we will see how exactly this electromagnetic radiation is. As we know there are three axes, x axis, y axis and z axis. Now the electric component is parallel to z axis but it is perpendicular to x and y axis and the magnetic component is parallel to y axis but it is perpendicular to z and x axis and both these components are traveling in the direction of x axis both these electric and magnetic component are perpendicular to each other finally we can say that these electric and magnetic components are oscillating in plane perpendicular to each other and perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave that is direction of propagation and uh, direction of traveling of wave this is how exactly the electromagnetic wave is electric component and magnetic component perpendicular to each other as well as they are perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave. Now we will see properties of electromagnetic radiation. The wave properties that is wavelength, frequency, wave number and velocity. And electromagnetic radiation has particle properties also. Wavelength. First property is wavelength. Wavelength is the, is the distance between two successive crests of a wave. Now what is crest? Crest is the maxima of the wave and trough is the minima of the wave. So the definition of wavelength can also be said as it is distance between two successive crests, two successive maxima or two successive minima of the wave. So this is the wavelength of wave. It is denoted by the symbol lambda and the units are angstrom, nanometer, micrometer, millimeter and centimeter. As the wavelength is distance, it is measured in these units. The relation between these units is 1 nanometer is equal to 10 angstrom, it is equal to 10 raised to minus 6 micrometer, which is equal to 10 raised to minus 7 centimeter, and finally 1 nanometer is equal to 10 raised to minus 9 meter. Second property of electromagnetic wave, it is frequency. It is defined as number of waves passing through a given point in one second or it is also called as number of waves per second. So if we consider x-axis and a point on x-axis and through this point one wave is passing. Say this wave is passing through the point and in one second three wavelength units of this wave are passing. So the frequency of this particular wave is 3 cycles per second because through a given point in one second 3 wavelength units are passing so that's why the uh, frequency of this wave is 
थ्री थ्री साइकिल्स पर सेकेंड इट्स सिम्बॉल इज नू फ्रिक्वेंसी इज डिनोटेड बाय नू एंड द यूनिट्स आर साइकिल्स पर सेकेंड और हर्ड्स और मेगा हर्ड्स नाउ थर्ड प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ वेव इज वेव नंबर इट इज डिफाइंड एज नंबर ऑफ वेव्स स्प्रेड इन अ लेंथ ऑफ वन सेंटीमीटर कंसिडर दिस इज अ वन सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर एंड वन वेव इज प्रेजेंट इन दिस स्क्वेर now how much wavelength units are present in this 1 cm square that is the wave number of that particular wave now for this particular wave four wavelength units are present and that's why the wave number of this wave is 4 per cm wave number is denoted by the symbol per nu unit is per cm the relation between wavelength and wave number is inverse wave number is equal to 1 upon wavelength per nu is equal to 1 upon lambda wavelength and wave number are inversely related this is the fourth property of a wave that is velocity it is defined as the distance traveled by a wave in 1 second is called as velocity the relation between velocity frequency and wavelength it is c is equal to nu into lambda c is velocity nu is frequency and lambda is wavelength velocity is denoted by the symbol c its unit is miles per second relation between frequency velocity and wavelength as we know wave number is equal to 1 upon lambda but we also know that frequency is equal to c upon lambda or we can write this second equation in the form of lambda lambda is equal to c upon nu c is the velocity of light in vacuum now we can rewrite this equation as per nu is equal to nu upon c or nu is equal to c into per nu finally we can say that wavelength is inversely related to wave number as well as frequency this is how it is explained if longer wavelength is uh, the wave has longer wavelength its frequency is low because in one second uh, less number of wavelength unit will pass through the point and that's why frequency will be low and if the wave has shorter wavelength more number of wavelength units will pass through the point and frequency will be high so long wavelength low frequency short wavelength high frequency wavelength and frequency are inversely proportional as well as wavelength and wave number are also inversely proportional but frequency and wave number are directly proportional to each other particle property of electromagnetic radiation electromagnetic radiation contains photon or quanta the energy of this photon is proportional to the frequency of radiation and it is given as follows as we know this equation e is equal to h nu it is a planck equation h is the planck's constant and its value is 6.624 into 10 raised to minus 34 joules per second energy is equal to h nu the relation between lambda and energy is as we know this e is equal to h nu but we also know that uh, frequency or nu is equal to c upon lambda if we put this value of nu into the energy equation we will get energy is equal to e is equal to h c upon lambda e is equal to h c upon lambda finally we can say that energy is directly proportional to frequency it is directly proportional to 
wave number but it is inversely proportional to wave length that means wave length it is inversely proportional to all these remaining three parameters uh, that is energy frequency and wave number now we'll see electromagnetic spectrum this is the entire electromagnetic spectrum it starts with gamma rays x then after x rays are there ultraviolet radiations are there uv visible light infrared radiations microwave and radio waves are there gamma rays are shortest wavelength radiation their uh, wavelength is 0.0001 nanometer then next comes x rays their wavelength is 0.01 nanometer ultraviolet radiations their wavelength is it starts with 10 nanometer it starts from 10 nanometer visible radiations visible radiations means, means the sunlight it includes sunlight uh, the range of these uh, radiation the wavelength range of these radiation is um, 350 to 750 nanometer infrared radiation generally the wavelength it ranges in between 1000 nanometer to 0 0.1 0 0.01 centimeter and next the microwave and radio waves will start microwave and radio waves have the wavelength in centimeter meter as well as uh, 100 meters also so if we see if if we arrange the wavelength the radiations will look like this gamma rays with very short wavelength while the radio waves are having higher wavelength so wavelength is increasing in this way gamma with shorter wavelength and radio waves with higher wavelength and the intermediate radiations are there but if we relate these wavelength with energy we'll get exactly opposite arrow because the wavelength and energy are inversely related so gamma rays will have highest energy and radio waves will have lowest energy so this is about the introduction of uh, this is the first part of introduction of spectroscopy so thank you thank you very much